I'm going to show you how to buy NFTs on OpenSea. So to start you're going to need a few things. You're going to need an OpenSea account, which I'm going to show you how to set up. Something called a wallet, which I'm going to show you how to set up as well using Metamask. You're going to need to use the Chrome browser and you're going to need some cryptocurrency, in this case Ethereum. And I'm going to talk you through every step and show you how to do each one because it sounds really complicated and the first time you do it, it is. So hopefully this will help out a ton. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is set up your OpenSea account. So in order to do that, go up and to create an account. Now this here you can see is Metamask, which is a wallet I would recommend looking at. So basically this wallet is almost like your password and access to OpenSea. So once you're logged in, every time you go on OpenSea, so long as you're logged into Metamask, it will log you straight into your own account. And you can use Metamask on other websites too that deal in cryptocurrency. And it's incredibly easy to just sync your wallet with their website and start buying and selling things. So I love it. So Metamask is where you will store your Ethereum. And also when you sell a product, that's where your Ethereum will go to. Ethereum being the most likely cryptocurrency you're gonna use on OpenSea. And if you don't have any, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to get some in a minute. So simply click on get Metamask. And then you simply click install for Chrome, add to Chrome, add extension, and that's it. And then what will happen is you'll see it up here and you can create an account. So let's create a wallet. Okay, so this is an important bit of code that you will need to see, which I can never disclose. I'm gonna press remind me later. And there we have it, that is your account set up. Very, very easy. Now when you go to OpenSea, all you need to do is press sign in. And then once you press sign in, you put in your password. Press unlock. There's your account. It will know because it's logged in through the extension. And then press connect. And there we have it you've set up an OpenSea account. Now what you need to do is find the NFT that you want to buy before you transfer money into that account because there's a few fees and things that you'll have to pay so you need a little bit more money than the artwork itself costs. So let's use this as an example, not that one, it's super expensive. <laughs> so once you've found something that you like you need to look at the price and how much it's going to cost in Ethereum but you also want to bear in mind that you're going to need more than this amount here because you have to pay something called a gas fee and that can range and it's different every day. So put quite a little bit more in, I'd probably say $100 more just in case because that's how much it can vary and then you can always transfer that Ethereum back and forwards if you don't use it. So now you've got a few options. You need to get some cryptocurrency and there are a few places I'd recommend looking and I've put links to each in the description and if you use my links there are some rewards for you which are in the description too. The first is Coinbase. This is very good for beginners. It's easy to use, it's fast, it's one of the biggest platforms, it's got a good reputation. You're going to need to go through and set up your account yourself. There's a lot of security things that you have to put in and it will take a little while for them to verify your account too. And then all you do is you click on Ethereum and then click trade and you can buy, sell or convert. So if you have existing cryptocurrency, you could swap your Bitcoin for Ethereum. And now you'll need to set up your bank account. You can pay over a card or you can transfer it. It's cheaper to transfer it. Put in your amount, tells you the current rate, press preview buy and you can see there is a fee. Now fees are a little bit higher on Coinbase, but it is very easy to use. So you just have to weigh up that and then press buy now and that will appear in your Coinbase wallet, which you'll see in your portfolio here. And now once you've done this, what you want to do is transfer your Ethereum over to your MetaMask. Go up to your MetaMask, click copy to clipboard on this button here, paste it in, type in MetaMask as your note or anything else, pay with Ethereum, set the amount and hit continue. Coinbase will charge you nothing for doing this at all. However, the Ethereum network will charge you a little bit, so you end up paying £103 to move 100 over. And then you press send now, and that, after about 10 minutes, maybe longer sometimes, maybe half an hour, will appear in your MetaMask, and you can move on to the next step. Some of the limitations of Coinbase is, if you do get into this and you don't just want Ethereum, is they don't have that many cryptocurrencies to purchase. They do have a lot of the big ones, but it isn't the most vast collection. The next option I'd consider looking at is crypto.com. Now this one's kind of great for, I'd say more intermediate. It has more cryptocurrencies that you can purchase. You can also stake your cryptocurrency. So you can basically put it into these polls where if you're holding Ethereum, for example, if they allow you to stake it, you can make interest on your Ethereum. They also have their own credit card, uh, which rewards you in different ways, depending on how much of their own native currency that you want to stake. And you can see these are their interest rates there. So that's for someone who's a little bit more serious on it. So the link in the description for this one as well, which has a reward too. And then you have Binance. 
This, as you can see, is far more complicated. They have tons of different options and things that you can do on here. I'd probably stay away from it if I was a complete beginner. They do have slightly lower fees though. So there's links to all of them below. So we decide we want to buy this. We press buy now and then we press checkout. This then links to your MetaMask wallet. And as we can see here, there is a gas fee, which is $32 at the moment. And this is a big problem because the actual NFT was only $20. So what this is, this is the fee you pay to have your transaction authorized on the Ethereum network. And you can make it less, but it will take longer. You can even go to advanced and you can put the price down really low, but it could take hours and hours and hours, maybe even days. So that's one thing to think about. Now don't panic too much because OpenSea are getting rid of this very soon and have found a way so that people don't have to pay these extortionate gas fees. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to make it super cheap just to show you what happens. Now you can look at the progress of your transaction by clicking this item here and you can also go into your MetaMask, click on activity and you can see here it says pending. Now because I made this gas fee so low it's probably not going to go through but if you want to cancel you will have to pay a cancellation cost which doesn't always work so I press let's try and it'll either work or it won't. So when you have bought your first NFT it will appear in your collection and then you can do a few things with it. You can put it up for sale again if you like and you can put it on an auction or you can bundle it with other items or you can transfer it out of your wallet off of the OpenSea network or you can just leave it be and hope that people come in and make offers for it. So that's how you buy your first NFT. If you want to learn how to then sell your NFT, watch this here and it will take you through the whole process.